The new year is just over a few weeks away and fireworks will no doubt be set off across Pennsylvania, much to the dismay of public officials and many citizens. The 2017 law allowing high grade fireworks is coming back under the microscope. Dennis Owens was there as members of the House and Senate debated it. Aerial fireworks have been exploding. Lawmaker phones have been blowing up. This has really been problematic. A rare joint hearing on the 2017 fireworks law that legalized the powerful aerial displays in PA. We're discussing how to fix a problem that we solely created when we enacted the new fireworks law. There's been some death, some destruction, and lots of aggravation. In some townships, Consumer fireworks are used seven days a week, day and night, sometimes well into the early morning hours, prompting a rash of complaints. Consumer fireworks have recently resulted in injury to first responders when intentionally used as a weapon. The top legal tweak requested, letting local towns and boroughs make their own rules regarding fireworks, including banning them all together or limiting their hours. And they want that power spelled out in law. Because the last thing we want to do is face a challenge and all the thousands of dollars that are equated with that, the bad press. Senator Genio's bill expanded fireworks. He supports them and says most of the carnage is caused by user error. We cannot legislate common sense or against stupidity. In every one of our aisles, I'm holding you know something up in here, it's a little how-to card which will show you how to use fireworks responsibly, safely. Daniel Pert is with Phantom Fireworks, which has 14 stores in PA. He says used properly, fireworks are safe, entertaining, and popular. But he knows in this hearing, that's the minority view. But if you're bringing a group of firefighters in to comment on a fireworks law, it's like bringing a couple of cats to come in to comment on an election for a dog. Fireworks are heavily taxed and have generated about $11 million for the state. Has this been worth it? I, I don't think so. I don't think fireworks are a bad thing, but I think they need to be regulated uh, and people need to be educated on them. Mao says there will be some tweaks to that fireworks law, but likely not making aerial fireworks illegal. And he intends to start working on that early in the new year. In the state capitol, I'm Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.